Okay, so in this lesson we're going to go through how to add a stereo camera and some of the main attributes you'll be changing in order to get your stereo effect. So in this scene we've just got a few elements close to the camera and further away to show the stereo effect. So to add a camera you can either go to Create, Cameras, Stereo Cam or go to Panels, Stereo, New Stereo Cam. Now what we'll do is straight away we're looking through the camera and as you can see at the bottom it says stereo cam view stereo cam one center. Now what that means is if we go back to perspective we take a look at the cameras it's added. As you can see it's added three cameras. Now the one we were looking through when it said center is this center cam. And the center cam is used for previewing purposes if you're doing an animation you look through the center cam to see the general area that's going to be rendered out. Then there's a left camera and a right camera and they're going to be the rendered cameras to the left and right image. So the centre camera is just for previewing purposes. So if we get the option box up we can see some of the options in here. So first off we'll go down and there's a type of stereo off axis. In these trainings we're going to be using off axis which is a new type of stereo but if you want you can use it from like there's a converged which went on earlier which is like crossing the eyes and there's a parallel which is diverging the eyes to go forward. Now in what we're going to go through is the main two options which is interaxial separation and zero parallax. So what these mean is the interaxial separation so 6.3 Maya units in this case if we go to settings or you can go to windows preferences settings and preferences preferences. If we go to the settings as you can see it's in centimetres. So our working unit is centimetres. So what this unit means is 6.3 centimetres. Now that means 6.3 centimetres because that's the distance between two adult pupils. So that's the distance between these cameras. So that's how these represent your left and right eye. But inside of Maya, if you're seeing, it's like this character, he isn't scaled to a normal size character. So he, in this actual scene, in centimetres, he's probably 50 centimetres which isn't the normal size. So you might have to change this depending on the size of your character to get these to represent the same scale as his eyes. Otherwise if the character is smaller and these eyes are too like these eyes are too wide, the scene's gonna appear quite small and then again if your character's too large and the distance between these is too small, the character's gonna look really, really big. You might want this for some sort of effect where there's a big character, so you can take that into consideration as well. But this just separates the eyes. Now the zero parallax, as you can see, if you change the zero parallax, nothing seems to be changing. So we need to actually view and look through the cameras. So to look through the cameras, we're going to go to Stereo, Stereo Camera Rig, which is the first rig we've made here by clicking New Stereo Camera. Now. When you're looking here, you can see the options. There's the left, which is the left camera, and it says at the bottom, left. Or we can go to the right or the center. So for now, we'll go through the center. Okay, so looking through the center, I've had a problem there where there's no stereo. There should be a stereo here. So if you're having this problem, what you can do is go to perspective, go panels, stereo, and click on stereo camera one. Now you'll notice this option here, stereo appears. So if you can't find that, just go through that. And also, if you've got troubles getting up a stereo camera, you may have to go to settings and preferences, plugin manager, and stereo cam as loaded. And if you're using it a lot, you can auto load it. So, with this new option available, stereo, as you can see, we'll click this top bar to tear it off. This, we're currently looking through the center eye, so it says center. So you can click between these to see which ones you want to go through. And the one we're going to be using is the anaglyph again. So if you click that, straight away you'll see we're looking through the anaglyph camera and this is going to be a preview of the left and the right merging together. So if you put on 3D glasses, you'll be able to see some sort of a 3D effect. It's not a very great one, but there's a little bit there. But this is just using the default settings. So now, looking through the stereo camera, if we adjust the zero parallax, as you can see, it's adjusting the separation of the two images. So you can see the red and cyan, the red and the cyan images separating apart. Now, what does this actually mean? 
what this means is as you adjust the two images if you look at this character here in particular if we wanted the zero parallax to be on that character what that means is zero parallax is no depth which means on the screen or whatever you're viewing it on so at this point the two images match together which means there's no depth and everything behind there goes behind the screen and everything in front like this ship or if there's something down here in front comes out and in front of the screen and then same again if we want to focus in on this chair we can adjust the zero parallax and as you can see the separation between the two images around this corner of the chair is now at zero depth and this character there's a slight separation as this character pops out of the screen and if you put on your glasses you can sort of see the effect but again changing the interaxial separation this will have to be changed to whatever scale of your character's eyes so there are a few options for just adjusting and getting the right effects and again if you can't get this stereo up remember to just go to stereo and stereo camera all right in the next tutorial we're going to be going through a way of adding some a few guidelines and how to view which parts of the scene you're actually going to be rendering so thanks for watching.